my name is Jaran Eriksson. I'm actually a medical doctor, so I always feel a bit like the odd one out at these places, but uh, at least there have been a few health presentations today, so that's been nice to see. Uh, I'm um, part of a work package too in the Sagaya project, and I'm going to talk about one of the communities of practice that we've uh, been supporting. And uh, just a little bit about the work package too from Saigea, which has an aim to provide support to emerging communities of practice and um, to specify structures and models, resources and competences needed to be able to host a new science gateways within uh, the community of practice in a sustainable way. And so uh, we had the uh, focus on two different communities of practices uh, that had been actually started in the previous phase, EI for Africa. And these are the African Pharmacology Science Gateway and also something called the Community Health Portal in Tanzania. But I'm actually just going to talk about the African Pharmacology Science Gateway now uh, to leave some space for another presentation. Um, so uh, the African Pharmacology Science Gateway, uh, the background or the aim for this was that a lot of African scientists have been trained in high income countries, but when they come back to their uh, home country, uh, the technology isn't always there for them to be able to continue the work that they had been doing. And many of those who do uh, return have then limited resources, so they can't really maintain or develop any strong uh, uh, research programs or institutions. So the point of this APSG was to design, develop, test and implement and evaluate a conce uh, cost, uh, concept sorry, for a cost-effective virtual e-infrastructure for African medical science collaboration. And um, the focus was on uh, pharmacological sciences. And this was actually uh, a collaboration that was initiated um, from something called the AIBST, the African Institute of Biomedical Science and Technology in uh, Harare. And you see here that they had these uh, seven different uh, partners um, who together with this EI for Africa um, project set up a pilot uh, pharmacology science gateway. So what is this gateway? Well, it's a um, virtual collaborative community uh, linked to the African Grid Science Gateway. And it builds on accessible tools that should be open access for sustainability. And it's supposed to simplify collaboration between uh, these different institutions in Africa. And it should promote and implement African medical science collaboration but then focusing on biomedical and pharmacological sciences. And you probably can't see in details here, but this is uh, the different levels of the pharmacology science gateway. Um, so I think I'll just skip right here. So this is the pilot version of the APSG, and this was the focus that it had. So you hear, see it has something about genomics and bioinformatics, bioanalysis, metabolism, pharmacokinetics, uh, clinical trials, so these are the different topics, and under each of these topics, there are different tools that you can access uh, free of um, charge. Um, here are just a few examples of these. Uh, that, so if you work in pharmacology, you probably know some of them. Um, different clinical trials, uh, databases, uh, EPI uh, tools, etc. And um, so this was actually what was done then in the first phase of uh, so EI for Africa. So what could Saigea offer this uh, APSG? So the point was that you could have a data repository for um, data from, for instance, clinical trials, uh, a discussion forum for users, but we also needed to adapt the APSG to needs for potential users. And uh, we started here with... Um, yeah, so the issue was that it wasn't actually, uh, hadn't been used that much yet. So we started contacting different um, uh, potential users. And one was this Muria group, which was uh, launched a, a couple of years ago or three years ago now. Medicines Utilization Research in Africa group. They are interested in drug utilization research and rational use of drugs. So we linked them up with the APSG. And through the Saigea uh, forum, we discussed with them and um, this Muria group then initiated a survey of African scientists involved in pharmacology to see what needs they had and how, uh, what kind of research areas they were interested in so that we could try to develop this um, pharmacology science gateway further. 
and uh, there will actually be a presentation tomorrow uh, more about um, what what actually came out of this survey. So we have a special presentation just on that. Um, so if you're interested in what actually happened, you can listen then. But anyway, uh, Saigea uh, had a goal then to engage with these new and emerging uh, communities of practice and to support, uh, support them on the science gateways and then further develop them uh, according to their needs. And uh, Saigea is still here for the communities of practice, so you should interact with us. And for this specific um, APSG, uh, you will hear actually the details tomorrow about what came out of the survey. So that's it for me. Thank you.